Kia ora, and welcome to HMNZS Manawanui, the newest warship to join the fleet of the Royal New Zealand Navy. My name is Lieutenant Commander Andy Mahoney, and I have the real privilege of being the first commanding officer of this ship. This is a really exciting time for your Navy. For the first time, we'll be able to deliver truly integrated capability all from one platform. That will be diving, hydrographic survey, and salvage. To do that, we have a whole raft of leading edge technology to help us advance New Zealand's interests from the sea, above, on and beneath the surface. So why don't you join me now and we'll go for a tour and have a look at some of that equipment. This is our onboard offshore subsea crane. It'll primarily be used for salvage and can lift objects from 1,000 metres below the surface, weighing up to 100 tonnes. That's the equivalent of four fully laden 40-foot shipping containers. As well as salvage, she'll also be used for repair and recovery tasks, and it can also be used to transfer stores and equipment between the ship and shore, and in the future to transfer stores between ship and ship. Also out here, you'll notice that we have a large wooden deck area. Now, this large space is capable of taking cargo up to 450 tonnes, and this will be a key enabler in supporting us in one of our other key outputs, which is providing assistance in the event of a natural disaster. Moving on, we're now inside the ROV hangar. ROV is the remote operated vehicle. Now, what you see here is an industry standard ROV and a very capable piece of equipment that can operate down to depths of uh, 1,000 meters. Uh, from there, she will drive out of the large silver garage and operate 200 meters uh, away from the center line of the ship. She's fitted with a couple of manipulator arms uh, and these can be fitted with uh, different pieces of equipment such as a water jet, a cutting wheel. Uh, you'll also see that she has a number of lights and CCTV cameras so that we can see what the ROV is looking at uh, from within the ship. We're now on the dive deck and most of the dive equipment is centred around our moon pool. Uh, the moon pool is a large seven and a half by three and a half metre hole in the ship uh, that goes from this deck through the centre to the open ocean below. Looking across the moon pool on the far right hand side, you can see the large white diving wet bell. Uh, this is used to lower up to three divers down to their operating depth around 50 metres beneath the ship. Over on the left hand side is the HD LARS, otherwise known as a work basket, and we use this to lower down uh, tools and other equipment uh, which the divers may require to conduct their tasking uh, beneath the ship. Also around the moon pool, you'll notice a number of uh, large grey containers. Uh, on the left hand side, uh, these containers are housing all of the equipment required to provide hot water, uh, power and uh, compressed air to our divers. And on the right hand side, we have our dive control container and of most interest is the recompression chamber, uh, which is used to tend uh, to divers when returning from depth. As you can see here inside, there are two beds, uh, which means the Recompression chamber is capable of looking after uh, two injured divers plus one medic as required. And moving between decks, we now find ourselves in the main engine room. Uh, we have four main diesel engines, but typically we'll operate on two. One of the things that makes Manu particularly unique is that two of our engines are world leading in terms of green emissions mode. They have a system inbuilt which will remove harmful emissions before we exhaust to the atmosphere. One of the other things that makes Manu Manua unique is that we are incredibly economical. By way of example, uh, the delivery voyage between Denmark and New Zealand took 52 days and we returned to New Zealand with 30% of our fuel remaining. One of the things we're not short of in Manu Manua is space and that's particularly evident in the accommodation areas. Uh, we have a core crew of 40 but we can take up to 66 and each member of the ship's company uh, will enjoy either a single or a twin berth cabin. Uh, that is coupled with an ensuite shower and toilet, and each cabin is also fitted with a, a small rec area uh, which will enable people to have some personal space uh, when they're away from home. We now find ourselves on the ship's bridge, and as you can see, one of the unique features of this bridge is that we have floor to ceiling windows 360 degrees. The primary conning position is on the starboard forward side, and because of our unique propulsion method, uh, you'll notice that we do not have a ship's wheel. Instead, we use a combination of levers and dials uh, to manoeuvre the ship. Also in this position, you'll 
for our electronic charts and the computers required for our dynamic positioning system. Now, this system takes information from a whole raft of sensors uh, to hold the ship in one position and this will be used when we're conducting diving or operations with our ROV. These systems are mirrored on the starboard aft side and there is also a place on the uh, port aft side of the bridge uh, where we can steer the ship if we're ever required to go port side to in a berth or harbour. We're now approaching the end of the tour and we find ourselves on the ship's flight deck. This is another unique feature for Mano Inui and that unlike all of the other ships in the fleet, our flight deck is actually at the forward end of the ship. As you can see, it's quite a large area and it is capable of receiving all of the current in-service maritime helicopters, the Sea Sprite and the NH-90. Well, that completes the tour. I'm sure you'll agree that this is a fine looking ship with a huge breadth of capability to deliver for the people of New Zealand. On behalf of my ship's company, I thank you for taking the time to join us and we very much look forward to hosting you on board in the future.